Hey, what's up y'all? It's 1000 here. I am in my little home office today. I'm finally gonna get around to painting some shoes. This guy commissioned me to paint two pairs of these Nike shoes. Like, man, it, I think it was over a year ago. <laughs> and I was like, sure, yeah, I'll, I'll get to them right away. And I'm always like 10 projects going on at the same time, which is an awesome problem to have, but finally get around to painting these. Um, I've never, I haven't ever even opened these, so we'll take a look. Okay, got some, I don't know that much about shoes, so I gotta read the name. I think they're Jordans. They look, Jordan 1s, is that a thing? I think these are Jordan 1s. There might be some people yelling at me right now for not knowing what these are, but I'm not really a shoe guy. Oh, Nike Men's Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Triple Black Pack. Boom, baby, that's what they are. Ooh, some black ones and some white ones. They're leather and there's pretty good surface area here to paint. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but he just said I could kind of do whatever I wanted, so I'm gonna do whatever I want. I'm gonna paint these up, but here's the thing. I got these leather paints, Angelus brand acrylic leather paint. I bought these like five years ago, maybe more, thinking that I was gonna do some leather painting and I never used them, and I still have never used them. I've never used this paint before. So I don't know if you can see, but there's like a ton of dust on there from being in my garage. I hope the paints are still good and I hope that they're like an okay consistency that I'm gonna enjoy using. So this is my first time doing this. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it either turns out awesome or I'll learn from some pretty epic mistakes, but hopefully the former. And uh, let's get painting some shoes. First thing I'm gonna do here is tape these up so I don't get any paint where I don't want them to be. First shoe is done. The blue tape edition. Alright, so I got both of the shoes taped up, the soles, and then I taped up the insides too because I feel like I'm going to be grabbing them like this a lot. Let's see, pewter. I got pewter, green, purple, these are so dusty, red, yellow, brown, white, neutral, I don't know what neutral is, black, gold, blue, orange. That should do it. Might as well keep it real with the teal. and. Go with one of my favorite colors and see how this goes. Hmm. Comes with like a little brush tip. <laughs> these brush tips are awesome. What if I tried to paint these whole shoes with those brushes? I don't think that would work very well. All right, so this is my first time using these leather paints by Angelus. Uh, first things first, I was a little bit worried about how the consistency and coverage would be. But after using them for a little bit, I was pretty impressed with both the consistency and the coverage. They kind of are uh, a fluid type consistency, similar to the Golden brand acrylic paints that I find myself using whenever I'm making paintings. And the coverage was good. I mean, it, was, it wasn't too thin. I put two or three coats on almost every color I did on these, even on these white shoes where it has a nice white background. It just really needed a, a couple of coats. I use the hair dryer a lot to speed up the dry time. I noticed that on these, the dry time was a little bit slower than acrylic paints, and it would still be a little bit sticky and tacky to the touch when normal acrylics would probably be fully dry. It's pretty cool because apparently these are supposed to be scratch resistant, they're not gonna flake off of the leather, and it's just gonna kinda make the shoe potentially wearable. I don't know if the guy who's buying these from me is actually gonna wear them or if he's gonna just keep them as an art piece. I'm cool with either way. I'd like for him to probably wear them around and get some compliments and some attention for them and maybe be like, yo, my boy 1000 did these. You should get yourself a pair. But yeah, the, the paint is awesome. I tried to kind of stick with the form of the leather patches and patterns that are on these shoes to create my characters and use the space well. Because unlike Converse, Chuck Taylors, which I've also painted before, 
uh, there's a bunch of different leather patches all sewn together and it's not like a flat surface. So that was a little tricky. Speaking of Converse, I did a gig once for Converse and for Nordstrom where I had to paint 60 pairs of the Chuck Taylors, like the classic Converse All-Stars. And I had to paint 60 pairs in like a week and a half. It was crazy. But they sold them in uh, Nordstrom's and it was for this like Converse pop-up that was in a bunch of different Nordstrom's around the United States. So that was pretty cool. On these first shoes, I just wanted to do something really bright and colorful and like crazy, loud, colorful shoes with some fun cartoon characters. Something that you would be making a statement with if you wore them. Yes, Alright, I finished the white ones. Gonna work on the black ones now. The white ones are super colorful, so I think I'm just gonna do black and white on these. Got them kind of taped off and see what happens on these. Normally with these type of paints, if I was making an actual painting, I would kind of like add water to them to water them down and thin them out and everything. But I was kind of afraid to do that with these leather paints. I didn't want to mess up the consistency and not have it like really adhere to this leather. So the whole time I just used the, the paint straight out of the bottle. And it turned out pretty good. Like it was pretty easy to use these. So how are you guys doing today? Having a good day? I hope that you're doing something creative. I've actually had a few comments lately where people are like, yo, I put your YouTube videos on and just make art, and just put them in the background. And that's super awesome to me. Uh, I'm happy to inspire and I'm happy that other people are being creative. World needs more creativity and less fighting, less drama, more contributing beauty to the world around you. I've actually just gotten to the point where I've started meeting like a lot of YouTube followers in real life and it's like, the coolest thing in the world. Only over the past like couple months have people come up to me and be like, yo, I watch your videos on YouTube. And I'm like, that's the coolest thing ever. Um, the trickiest part about painting shoes is just painting a curved surface. Anytime you're working with a non-flat surface or a curved surface, uh, it's just a, a little bit more tricky as far as like getting smooth lines and you know, wrapping your brush around edges and I think the ideal shoe to paint would be one that's firm and leather, but like perfectly flat. Maybe even like, hmm, I'm trying to think of a shoe that would just be like really awesome. It would almost be like a really simple shoe, uh, like a, maybe a leather version of a Chuck Taylor that just doesn't have a whole bunch of like stitched together chunks and pieces of leather. Uh, but yeah, these are actually super fun to paint and uh, customizing Jordans is pretty special. So I'm, I was hyped to do this project. So I've been using this black India ink pen on these black and white shoes to get the fine detail black line art. But I'm a little worried about how it's gonna hold up on the shoes, especially if the dude tries to wear them. So I'm gonna use, where is it? This neutral, which I guess is like a clear coat. And I'm gonna clear coat over the top of anywhere that I use that pen to hopefully have it kind of turn into leather paint or have this protective layer over the top of it. So I'll do a little test area to make sure it's not gonna make it like bleed or run or whatever. But neutral, according to what I've been reading on these bottles, is like a, just a clear coat. So we'll try that. Peace, Peace. Let's talk about Let's talk about these. Let's talk about talk about these well that's it I'm done that was super fun uh, I had a blast painting these Jordans maybe I'll have to paint some more in the future they're super fun to do the Angelus paints were rad. I would definitely recommend them for this type of application. And I sent the pictures to the guy who commissioned these from me and he's like super into them. His reaction was great. So I'm feeling really good about that. Yeah, this was fun. Um, let me know if you guys like the black and white ones better or if you like the color ones better. I'm kind of torn. I'm not sure which ones I liked more. And I asked the dude and 
he didn't really give me a solid response either. So down in the comments, let me know if you like the black and white ones or if you like the color ones. I'm interested to see what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Leave a like if you like this. Uh, drop a comment, let me know what you're thinking. And definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm putting out kind of crazy videos like this all the time. And I have a Patreon page too, if you want to support me in that way. The link is in the description. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you on the next one. Shoes.